Honey. Mm-mm. Mm. Photos can lie. Photos can lie, my friend. Hola, Muthani here, and this is the third time I'm filming this video. Okay, so <laughs> what happened was initially my intention was to post this video on IGTV, but then uh, the first time I was shooting, I think my head was like not in the right space, so I filmed. But then my batteries had not been charged. It was later in the evening. It was starting to get dark, and I was trying to use natural light. So that went like that and then i wasn't able to finish filming the second time i filmed it for igtv then i realized like with my explanations and everything i was explaining i was like i'll get questions of so how do you do this i don't know exactly what you're talking about and you'll see later on in the video so that is why i decided to do it a third time because that turns the charm uh that's what they say i don't know if it's true or not but I decided to do it a third time so that this time I can also show you screen grabs of exactly what I'm talking about. And that's why we're here today on a Friday. So yay, thank you for coming through. And yeah, let me now just talk you through. Uh, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my notes. I'm not trying to be like, I'm not shy. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm looking down, it's because my notes are down here and I want to make sure I make this video as informative as possible and give you all the ticks, ticks, tips all the tips and all the tricks that i use before i even make that phone call to go see a house okay so today we're going to talk about my house hunting tips and tricks okay i've never like introduced a video like that but yay so the first thing i do uh, or the resources i utilize i utilize online resources when i'm looking for a house i don't have agents because i know a lot of people have been asking me to share my agents numbers and stuff i do not have agents i hardly use agents i've never been like hey in tafti and yumba mm. i use online resources and i know online resources can be like a bit scary because there are so many cons and i'm going to show you how to spot cons and how to not get conned um, if you decide to utilize online resources so the two online resources I actually have three but I'll, the third one is not exact okay you'll just see the two i use are buy rent kenya and property 24. the reason i use these two is because they allow people to come post their listings you see uh, spaces like let's say night frank or has consult or pump golding will only post their own listings they don't allow other people to post their listings and if you have checked those sites you know that their houses are like in terms of pricing because of that that's why i decide to use resources like buy rent kenya and property 24 because they allow literally anyone even you today if you wanted to go post a listing you can which is why again it's important to oh my god my it's important to know how to spot fakes and how to differentiate uh, genuine listings from people who are just trying to con you money with a viewing fee, okay? So those are the ones I use. The third resource I use, and note resource, I use is Facebook, a Facebook, a Facebook page called Nanya Nahama Ningie or something like that. Nanya Nahama I, I'll just show you. Nanya Nahama. That's the other resource that I use. But for that one, I use it to find, um, to find what are they called? Uh, property managers or like pages. I, I don't use it to look at individuals posting. I check because individuals post, but then they are always sharing from like their, the pages of the companies they work for. Okay. So an agent will post on that page, but then the post itself is from a company that they work for the agency or the real estate property manager company, whatever they use. So I use that page to go to those pages to see what listings these pages also have because not all property agencies in kenya have websites okay so and i'll show you i'll talk to you about ah this thing is now becoming annoying does it want me to do this naked so yeah so those are the two that i use so after now say we've gone to property 24 or byron kenya we've seen a house it looks interesting we're like okay this looks cool i think i want it what do you do next so what i do before don't just rush that part of oh call so and so show agents number <laughs> mm -mm. 
First, I go and check the other listings that this agent has and see if they are like a similar vibe, similar area. Just to see, because then you can't have a listing in Kajiado, then your other listing is in Thika. Because I'm like, man, how, how do you operate? And then your other house is in Kileleshwa, then you have another one in Karen. I know it's possible, but then I, I believe, this is just a personal belief, I don't know if it's true. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do believe that agencies or um, property management companies give an agent like a specific area. So you're the agent for, because you've seen it even with Palm Golding, right? With the, the billboards, they go like property manager for Westlands, property manager for Kilimani. You see it, their contacts are there, their photos are there. That way you know who runs, who, the property agent rather, sorry, not manager, property agent for a certain area. So when I look at that, I'm like, okay, First thing is all their properties are within the same area, 90% of the time within the same price range as well. So you're like, okay, that's cool. There's this part that says agency. So the agency that they work for. I go and do a Google search to confirm that the agency is legit. Does it exist? Does it have any social media platforms? Does it have, does it have a website? Does it have any presence online or is it just a logo that someone went and created on Canva and came and posted it there and said, now I am Muthoni Gitao Property Management dot com. Um, when I check that, let's say now we found Muthoni Gitao and the property is MG Properties. So I go do a Google search on MG Properties and then if they have a website, I will go through. Now I'll start looking at the listings from their website and discard or walk away from the online resource I was using, Beat Property 24 or By Rent Kenya at this point and move over to the website. I look through their listings from their website and if at any point I find this house that I had seen on Property 24, because if they have it on Property 24, it should also be on their website. It only makes sense. At that point, I will call, but I will not call the number that's on Property 24. I'll call the number on their website, okay? So that's one thing that way, like even if it's someone else who'd because sometimes there's people who take listings, they copy paste everything and only change the phone number. The house is legit, but the person you're talking to is not involved in that house at all in any way, shape or form. So you call someone, you know, the house is legit and then they start telling you stories of money. Someone wants it. You know, those stories you've had them. You've probably been through them. But if you if you've been conned, tell me below, like, have you ever I'm curious to know if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you are almost conned or actually conned. I know Nick has been conned before when looking for a house. Sad story. Maybe it should actually be a story time video when Nick and I sit together, right? Okay, we'll think about that. So that's um, that's what I look out for. So I'll call the number on the website. Hiya, let's say you've checked and they do not have a website, but maybe they have a Facebook page um or a twitter account or an instagram account 90 percent of the time they often have a facebook page so go to the facebook page um sometimes they'll have like if if all the posts are being done by one person that's not really a company and i know sometimes there's companies that are run by a single individual it's one person and they're an agent and they've decided that what they do is this is their company this is what they do that's also okay but look at the post how recent are they so that's, those are some of the things you want to look out for. Uh, was their last post in like March 2018? If their last post was in March 2018, but they have a listing on Property24 um, listed March 2020, you should raise your eyebrows and be like, Ay, is this real? So let's say now you've checked their Facebook, it looks legit and everything else looks legit. And you're like, okay, let me call them. Now you've called them. For me, there's things that I do not compromise on, okay? If someone, if I call and they ask me for a viewing list, I walk. A ah, viewing fee at a viewing list. <laughs> if they tell me I have to give them a thousand bob for viewing or a I'm going to pay 1500 and it's valid for a month. And I'm like, why would I need 1500 valid for a month if the house that I've called you about is genuine? If I only want that one house, I don't need to like i called you about one house and then you're telling me i also have other properties in that area that look like this like that like almost like that and 90 percent of the time this has happened to us once the first time we wanted to move and 
this guy was like this was before i became serious okay let's be honest before i was serious about this business i'm in before i was serious about house hunting before i was like looking out for red flags or whatever um and this guy was like you have to pay i think it was two thousand shillings viewing fee and and then he was like and i'll show you more than one house but i'm like is there house that i've called you about available and he says yeah 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 for sure you'll see it but if you don't like it i'll show you other houses this guy walked us around for three hours showing us just random houses and then when we'd get to the gate he'd just be like you know yo yo yeah well you know that handshake that always has like some money you've done it me i know i've done it that handshake that has money where you don't want people to see that you're giving someone money we we'll do that with the wochi or the caretaker then we go he shows us a house and we never got to see the house we actually called about he showed us like five not five four i think four houses oh sorry my leg is dying because i'm sitting on it he showed us four houses and none of those houses was the house we had called about so it was like so from that day, that was the one and only time i have ever ever paid for a viewing ever i've never paid ever again i'm like the moment someone says ah so kuna viewing fee i'm just like ah no it's okay thanks done the other thing that i walk away from if they tell me and this happens a lot with like extensions or uh personal like compound type homes they will always tell you um i'm not the one dealing with the house uh let me give you my wife's number honey is the scam because i'm like if your wife is the one who's dealing with the house why isn't her number the one that's listed because doesn't it make more sense for you to put the number of the person who's directly associated with the house if someone has to give you someone else's contact yet it's their contact that was listed just walk i'm like i tell myself if a house is meant to be it's meant to be if it's not it's fine like there's houses you see that are very nice and then there's like stories and i'm like it's okay it's frustrating in that moment especially like what happened with us it's frustrating at that moment when you're like oh crap what next especially if you have very limited time a very limited time period so i walk yay the other thing i walk away from is the moment anyone asks me for money or they tell me oh there are so many people there's someone who's coming to see the house i just know yeah that's a scam if someone is talking to you about how you you've just called and like hey is the house available All right maybe i want to hire it for a day to do a shoot you don't know and then you're over there telling me oh you know there's even someone who's seeing the house right now so if you're interested oh, oh, oh. like the first thing they do is try to discourage you from seeing the house so that like but then they tell you it's exactly the way it is in photos honey mm -mm. Mm. photos can lie photos can lie my friend hey so someone asked me for money like that i walk so those are the things that i look out for but even before that before making the call there's certain steps that i take to confirm that a house is legit one of the other resources i utilize is the reverse image search on google so first of all i look at the photos and look for either inconsistencies or consistency so if you want to know a house is legit uh, look at things like tiles look at things like the scatting look at things like um the what are these things called sinks sinks are a dead giveaway people don't pay attention to sinks they'll take a photo and then like from one angle the sink is circular those oval ones then from the other angle suddenly the sink has transformed and now it is a square a rectangle you get look out for such inconsistencies in photos that's how you tell tiles on the walls tiles on the floor light fixtures like those small small details the faucets especially the sinks they really mess up with the sinks so if someone is trying to dupe you they use bathroom photos so study that photo like you're someone who does csi okay look at every single angle of that image before you even say okay even zoom in if you have to there's one time so for the reverse image search um i'll show you how to do it um because i understand not everyone knows how to do that not everyone's like tech savvy or whatever but i'll show you the process of doing a reverse image search and also just doing a reverse image search from like a listing that is on like property 24 or something 
there's a house I had seen and I was like, that kitchen does not match that house. Trust your gut. By the way, sometimes your gut will be like, I'm Uthoni. Ukoshua. And when your gut says that, be like, by the way, uh, let's just confirm. So do a reverse image search. I once had to do that with, um, there was a kitchen. For me, it was the kitchen that was a dead giveaway. I looked at the kitchen. I was like, this kitchen does not match this house. And when I, I did a reverse image search, turns out that kitchen belonged to a house in runda like some fancy ass top of the range type house in runda and i was like mm, knew it so look out for such things and then like if everything lines up like i'll show you with the with the reverse image search um when what happens is when you you do a reverse image search it shows you everywhere that image appears online okay so it like searches the web for that photo and photos that are almost similar so if it's like a kitchen it will tell you a kitchen with wooden floors nini, nini. but then it also show you so you see like other listings with the same photo so if he's listed this house like in property 24 and he's also listed it on buy rent kenya the buy rent kenya if it's the same photos the buy rent kenya listing should also pop up but you've made the call you've done everything when he comes now you've seen the house don't pay for a house you have not seen aki will yes please 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 don't be that topic on conversation on twitter don't even if they tell you it's a deposit even if they tell you it's to hold the house just be, this is what i say when someone says i just say no it's okay if the house is there for me to view when i'm ready to view it i'll come see it if it's not it's also fine i'll find another house don't even if you're desperate, even if you're in a rush, do not, and I repeat this like in, do not pay for a house you have not seen. There's people who pay for houses they've seen, and it's still a scam. So now imagine you paying for a house you've not seen. Like, that's an even bigger scam. You get me? It's a scam. <laughs> okay? So don't. Now let's say you've seen the house, you've liked it, you've spoken to the people, nini, nini, everything is cool. What next? Like the other precautions that I take after I find a house. One thing is I do not make any cash payments, okay? Um, you'll find like, you, there's different people you'll meet along the way. You'll meet the caretaker, you will meet... Now this is the house we've chosen. We have found a house. Uh, there's the agent who showed us the house, the one we called online, right? then there's the caretaker for here so if it's like now about money those are the only two contacts you have but here's the thing they're not your landlord they're probably not the property manager so do not sorry do not make any mpesa payments now at that point you're like because uh, most agents they get a commission from whatever from the money that you are going to pay now the guys they work for or the company they, they brought you to as a client so i do not make mpesa payments i don't do cash payments i only write a check because also when you're first moving in it's like a lump sum you're not just paying for one month you're paying one month rent two months deposit uh so do, so do 10k for lease 5k i don't know for what so do 3k for water it's a lot more money than your monthly rent right the reason i like doing checks is one reason there's one 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 reason i give you a check i have two days before you like by the time the cash transfers i at least have a day before the cash transfers from my account before my bank takes the money and i have an extra day before my bank says okay fine now take the money and i hope your banks you can talk to your banks about this for me my bank calls me anytime it's like a huge amount of money even if i've written a check my bank will call me to confirm i wrote the check to a specific person or a specific company for a certain amount of money and they're like do we make the transfer do we move forward yes no because if someone like what if i had a blank check signed somewhere don't sign blank checks my friend okay that's how people get robbed but if you by chance were like planning to send some i don't know for some random reason you had a blank check and then someone just comes and writes themselves a stupid amount of money and then they go cash it in you get that's that's why it's important to have your bank call you uh for me i don't know if that's like with every bank but the two banks that i bank with do that so that's a cool thing um then talk to the caretaker ask as many questions as possible so 
The agent will tell you anything they think you want to hear because for them, they make the money the moment you take the house, okay? So, they will say yes, they will say no. They will say, yeah, 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 kwa kuna shida ya maji, ya steamer 24-7, paka kuna generator. Kumbe, the generator is for the pub public areas, not the houses, you get me? So, ask the caretaker about the water. If you bump into someone who lives there, and you're the kind of people who are like, hey, hi, who, what's up? Uh, you can be like, hi, um, my name is so-and-so, I'm planning to move in here. Uh, do you live around? Is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions before I take the house? And just chat them up and be like, yo. But caretakers, if you're nice to them, they'll be honest with you. And don't talk to them in front of the agents. <laughs> don't talk. There's those agents and caretakers who are in cahoots and they work together and stuff like that. But just ask. It's important to know. Water and just be honest. You can be like, Niambia tundo ni jipange, ni jue kanenda kunua mitungi. If I need to buy a drum before I move in, I just need to know that kind of stuff. You know, how long has the house been empty? Such questions are very important because if a house has been empty for so long, then that means there's probably a couple of repairs that you will need to follow up on. Okay? So such questions are very important. Ask about pets. Ha! Oh, oh, ha! I messed up on that one once, so ask ask as many questions as possible okay um what else what else i'm looking at my notes to see if there's anything i've forgotten yes there's one thing i actually forgot when in in my list of things i walk away from if someone tells me if you take the house you will have to pay one month rent one month deposit and all this and then they say you have to pay them now this agent you have to pay them 10 percent of your first month rent i walk the reason I walk from such is because, one, that means they're not the legit agent who was given the house to list. Does that make sense? As in, if I'm a landlord, I can go find a specific agent and tell them, hey, find me a tenant for my house, then I pay you. Because that's how they get paid. They get paid by the landlord. You shouldn't be the one to pay the agent. First of all, Lusha Mlipa viewing fee. Kuzungusha, alafu at the same time anataka umlipe do 10% of rent then when it comes to now house hunting things to, you look out for um, the one thing that I do is I have a list of things that are a must have and things that I'm willing to compromise on so uh, if I say a house must have must be pet friendly uh, must have like maybe two showers two bathrooms must have two bedrooms or three bedrooms like if i'm willing to compromise and say i don't need three bedrooms i'll take two like for instance with this one we were we were looking for a three bedroom but we saw a two bedroom that looked better than all the three bedrooms we saw so we were compromising and said we'll take the, th the two bedroom instead and just make it work okay if it looks good too good to be true it's probably too good to be true i'm just saying Hence the do a reverse image search because then you'll be like, ah, that's why it looked too good to be true. <laughs> okay. And then go see it and confirm that it's okay. At least. Uh, then the other thing is, um, utilize, like I've noticed of late that there's a lot of agents who are taking advantage of like, um, of instagram for instance there's one who i learned about the other day i have not worked with them so i don't know i don't know them <laughs> oh the noise of it all so <laughs> um what i liked about he, he was suggested to me by vivian my friend vivian sent me the link and i was like oh that's so cool because i saw he does house tours on his igtv so he will do a listing he will do a, a tour of one of his listings and show you everything and tell you the price range where it's located like the area it's located and stuff so you get to really see the house for free without even having to go see it you get does that make sense his name is robbie gitonga i will link his whatever below i'll link his <laughs> his instagram page below you can go check some of the listings he has again i repeat i have not worked with him i've never met him i've not even spoken to him he does not even know he's being mentioned in this video i hope he's okay with being mentioned in this video because i just mentioned him in this video so he's the one person like my friend forwarded um his nini his page and i was like that's a cool way of utilizing social media for a, an agent so yeah um i think that's it yeah 
Okay, so yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope I've answered your questions. If you have any more, please do list them below and then I will answer as many of them as possible. And please note that this is not the gospel truth. This is just my way of doing things. I know there's people who prefer doing agents. There's people who are like, me, I don't want to go looking for a house. And I also don't do that. There's people who say, I don't want to look online. I want to walk around and see. We are all different people. We are not one person. There's no blueprint to being a person. So just do what works for you. Do what you feel comfortable with this is what i feel comfortable with and the one thing i'll tell you is i will look at like 20 i'll start with like 20 houses and at the end of the day i'll go i'll only go see three because i will use the process of elimination until i'm like okay these are the three i've been left with and these are the only ones i'm going to go see don't you can do this with all the houses but you don't have to go see all of them use your process of elimination things you're not willing to compromise on things you're okay with things that you're like okay maybe the location is cool but the size isn't what i wanted or whatever just use that and then by the time you're going to see you're only going to see really good houses okay um yeah thank you so much for watching this video thank you for spending your time with me it's a bonus video thank you for being here have yourself a lovely weekend stay indoors wash your hands drink lots of water remember to wear your sunscreen and once in a while wear your makeup and look cute and walk around looking nice and fancy in the house uh you know you can like dress up and then go to the living room and be like oh what a walk <laughs> okay thank you so much have a lovely weekend i will see you back here on tuesday with another video bye